long as the GT countdown rated things, from the top soccer franchises to the best loading screens, and every so often, for whatever reason, the women of video games. In fact, we even did it a second time for Axe Body Spray, and again for fictional digital quote-unquote babes that are out of your league. Now it's time to turn our male gaze inwards, and at long last reveal the top 10 man babes. These grand dudes of gaming have effortlessly charmed their way into our hearts, through muscles, skills, and occasionally personality, but mostly hairstyles. Ladies want to know them, men want to cosplay as them. No matter where you are on the Kinsey scale, it's time to behold our bros in all their glory. Number 10. Lubu. Dynasty Warrior sequels come and go, but the mighty Lu Bu is always the most impressive man of the Three Kingdoms era. Peerless on the battlefield, this handsome warrior drew the attention of one of the four beauties of ancient China and sired a knockout daughter capable of mowing down hundreds of enemy soldiers in a single battle. There's a saying in historical record that reads, Among men, Lu Bu. Among horses, red hair. A clear interpretation is that this hero and this horse physically exemplify their respective species. Let's just say that Lubu and his horse probably share more than a few common qualities. Retreat! Forget it! Those that oppose us simply need to be put down by force! Number 9. Mike Hagger. With a ridiculously voluptuous body and a massive flying pile driver, Mike Hagar is the definition of a knockout. The brown-eyed, mustache-lipped criminal hunter is a force to be reckoned with in the Final Fight series. We don't care about his backstory or personality, just that he's the only guy in the world who somehow uses a whole belt as a single suspender. With the release of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, you can perform the final Hagar Buster in jaw-dropping 720p glory. Sorry! I didn't mean to beat you so badly. Number 8. Jacob Taylor. It's all about the prize. Femshep is always in command, but she might find it impossible to keep her defenses up around the Normandy's smoothest operator. After stepping into the captain's quarters uninvited, this dude breaks out a few slick lines and has his shirt off in a minute flat. He's like a more handsome Kanye West in space, and while James Vega might spend more time in the gym, Jacob clearly spent more time in charm school. Don't get too attached, though. By Mass Effect 3, he's already gotten another woman pregnant, and who can blame her? His character might be a little bit boring, but he can clearly do at least one thing right. I settled for nothing but the best. Doesn't matter. I want you. Number 7. Raiden. If the gruff, tough guy attitude of Solid Snake and Metal Gear Solid was a turnoff, then you need not look further than the game's sequel for a dreamier alternative. Sure, Raiden's a bit whiny and slow to pick up on things, but this pretty boy has the moves when it counts. And though he has confidence issues at first, by the end of MGS2, Snake whips this little dove into a proper little soldier. It's easy to overlook his flaws when you get to stare at him crawling around in a skin-tight outfit for most of the game. Not to mention the absolutely tantalizing finale, where he's stripped butt-naked for the audience's viewing pleasure. Let the sounds of rules of nature fill your head as you watch him flip around in his birthday suit. Magical. Rules of nature! Number 6. Chris Redfield. Wherever this one-man anti-terrorism unit goes, a pretty lady usually follows, and it's easy to see why. We were initially charmed by his sense of duty and coolness under fire, despite a disappointing lack of lockpicking skills. After he joined the BSAA and was subjected to their strict, mandatory doses of anabolic steroids, and it didn't seem like any of his shirts would fit anymore, he had all sorts of women screaming his name, although granted most of the time, their lives were in danger. About the only downside is his extensive exposure to exotic diseases. We recommend keeping some first aid spray around for protection. Number 5. Ezio Auditore. The 
there's no such thing as a damsel in distress when even the tallest tower is no match for Ezio's climbing skills. The silver-tongued assassin is quick-witted, sure-footed, and has a swagger that causes ladies to swoon and enemies to think twice. He'll carry a vendetta for life, but Ezio will also remember to stop and gather the feathers. Show up to a convention dressed like him, and you'll certainly get noticed. Go so far as to learn conversational Italian and, well, you get the idea. Number 4. Leon Kennedy With a haircut that looks like he's the lead singer of AFI, Leon Kennedy always tries to look good while cutting monsters into pieces. His bulky brown jacket is clearly style over function, but that doesn't stop him from being elegant. Graceful kung fu moves are par for the course, and he's always careful not to let emotions get in the way of the mission. Following a girl's lead just isn't his style. Leon's aged like a fine wine, and 15 years after making his rookie debut in Raccoon City, he's more capable and fashionable than ever. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Number 3. Dante The debonair Devil Hunter made his way onto this masculine list with little fuss. Or should we say Devil Hunters? We had a hard time choosing between classic Dante's calm cool and new Dante's acerbic wit. Both flavors of the half-demon exude a level of confidence that we can't help but admire. Of course, it isn't just their attitude that has our attention. The now iconic red coat, sleek elegance of rebellion, and always reliable ebony and ivory make for an ensemble that's practically second to none. Keeping it stylish, indeed. Number 2. Squall Leonhardt There's something about the quiet guy clad in the fur-lined leather jacket at the back of the class that we just can't put our finger on, but we're interested. Brooding with the mysterious scar that everyone buzzes about on the way to homeroom, Squall is a tall drink of potion. No matter how antisocial he is, there's no denying his skill with the gunblade. Excellent on the battlefield and a surprisingly skilled tactician and leader when he's forced to be, Squall possesses the strange, inherent mark of something desirable, but ultimately unattainable. Why? Because he couldn't care less. Number 1. Nathan Drake It's no secret that the charismatic collector borrows from the best traits of Indiana Jones, from the bar brawls to the shoot-first attitude, but he's never needed a bullwhip to reel the ladies in for a kiss. Drake is a man who has all the looks with none of the effort, perfect hair after a plunge underwater, still ruggedly handsome after a battle that's left him dirty and bleeding. And don't even get us started on his amazing shirts. The ladies love him, most men want to kill him, and the supernatural forces want his soul. What more could you want in a man? 